Door lock. The oldest known evidence of a door lock, comes from the ruins of an ancient Egyptian palatial complex, dating from circa 2000 BC. The fascinating design entailed a simple but effective pin tumbler lock. Incredibly enough, the core design element of the pin tumbler lock is still in use today. Though ancient Egyptian keys, were significantly larger than our modern counterparts. In any case, the door lock remains as, one of the essential ancient Egyptian inventions, and such devices were usually reserved for places of high value, like royal palaces, and religious structures, buildings that often housed treasures, and precious objects. Police. The ancient Egyptians had a well-organized, and orderly society, including functions as a modern society, like laws, taxes, and even police. The ancient Egyptian police had very important role in maintaining security, so the most important duty was preventing crimes with all possible methods. The ancient Egyptians established what is known now about the criminal investigation. They knew how to use well-trained dogs to assist in chasing criminals. We have found a papyrus called Ibut Papyrus. It contains a lot of names of criminals and their crimes, in addition to the work nature of police at that time. Calendar In ancient times, the calendar was very important helping humans to survive the harsh nature. Ancient Egyptians used a calendar, dating back thousands of years BC. Without a calendar, ancient Egyptians had no way of knowing when the annual flooding of the Nile would begin. Without that knowledge, their entire agricultural system would be put at risk. So a few thousand years before the common era, they started using one. The Egyptian calendar was built to fit with agricultural practices, and was divided into three main seasons, inundation, growing and harvest. Each season had four months, with each month divided into 30 days. Adding it all up, you get 360 days a year, a bit short of an actual year. To make up the difference, the Egyptians added five days between the harvest and inundation seasons. These five epagomenal days, were designated as religious holidays set aside to honor the children of the gods. The plow. The Egyptians and Sumerians were among the first societies to use plowing from the year 4000 BC. The first plows were improved from hand tools, so they were too light and ineffective to excavate the soil. Moreover, it takes four strong men to pull this plow. That all changed in 2000 BC, when the Egyptians first hooked their plows to oxen. Early designs were connected to the horns of cattle, but proved to interfere with the animal's ability to breathe. Later versions incorporated a system of straps and were much more effective. The plow revolutionized farming in ancient Egypt, and combined with the steady rhythm of the Nile River, made farming easier for the Egyptians, than perhaps any other society, of the time. Shave and Haircut Ancient Egyptians considered hair unhygienic, and the sweltering heat of their homeland, made long dresses and beards uncomfortable. So, they cut their hair short or shaved their heads, and faces regularly. Priests apparently were especially averse to her suitness shaved their entire bodies every three days. For much of their history, being clean shaven was considered fashionable, and being stubbly came to be considered a mark of poor social status. To that end, the Egyptians invented what may have been the first shaving implements, a set of sharp stone blades set in wooden handles, and later replaced those with copper-bladed razors. They also invented the barbering profession. The first barbers, made house calls to wealthy aristocrats' houses, but tended to ordinary customers outdoors, seating them on benches underneath shady sycamore trees. Ha ha ha!